Lisa Chandler, your announcer for The Casting Couch. On today's show, we will be tackling hair issues with Love Child Essentials founder, Lashara Bostic. You're also in for a sweet confectionery delight from Kip Mixing, Kip Johnson. Stay tuned, you're in for The Casting Couch is sponsored by APAC, building better communities through theater. Trio on the Bay, where you die, drink, and dance. And UTV, the genuine urban voice. APAC completes this 2012 season with Amir Baraka's The Dutchman, opening September 5th at the African Heritage Culture Arts Center in Miami, Florida. For showtimes and information, call 305-456-0287 or visit APAC.com. Come see what you've been missing. Lights, camera, action. Are you a high school graduate ready to go to the next level? Do you know that jobs in the film industry pay high salaries and are among the fastest growing professions in the nation? Earn while you learn through hands-on experience and paid internship opportunities. Urban Television School of Communication and Broadcasting is offering a certificate program in film production. For enrollment information, contact Penny Emanuel 305-907-9421 or 786 786- 718-7076. Tree on the Bay, Miami newest waterfront restaurant. Voted as the best outdoor dining by My City Eats. Tree on the Bay serves delectable new American cuisine and is located at 1601 79th Street Causeway, North Bay Village. For reservations, call 305-866-1234 or visit us at the web at treeonthebay.com. Tree on the Bay where you dine, drink, and dance. Welcome to the Casting Couch. I'm your host, Keith Harrell. We're filming live here at Trio on the Bay in North Bay Village. Today, we have a delicious mix of delicious, uh, how can I say, um, confectionery treats. Today, we have Kip Johnson. She started her own bakery by serving to family and friends. Her bakery, Kip's Mix in Homestead, Florida, offers some sweet confectionery treats. Please welcome to the couch, Miss Kip Johnson. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Uh, We got some of your vittles here, Mm -hmm. and um, we're going to get into that in in, in a second, but Mm -hmm. I want to know, how did you get started in baking? Um, By accident. Really, um, I took a cake to uh, a friend's party, and uh, her sister liked it a lot. And by the end of the night, she offered to pay me to make her a cake. I said, really? "Oh, I don't, I don't bake. You know, I just bought this just to, you know." What type of cake get, was it? It was a pound cake. Yeah, yeah, pound put cake. on them pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I like so, it. Um, so I said, "Okay, well, you know, there may be something there." I was kind of considering going to graduate school. I didn't really know, you know. Mm-hmm. what to do um so I, I i you know took up on the offer and i started baking on the side really now mm-hmm. how long ago was this that was a long time ago that was like in uh 2001 2001 yeah. well that's not too long ago no, it seems like a long time to me <laughs> really really so when did you actually start your business um well i like i said i did it on the side for uh for a long time and i actually mm-hmm. started uh kip's mix in 2009 2009 mm-hmm. okay all right how, how did that come about um what, what what were some of the plans that that came into making this because you are a, a woman entrepreneur and I think that needs to be applauded because you know Obama talked about uh not main street but you know small street instead of wall mm-hmm. street mm-hmm. and you know the entrepreneurial spirit is what drives America now. Mm-hmm. So you're part of that. Yeah. What made you think about saying, I want to start my own business and I want to be successful at it? Uh, honestly, I thought long, um, a long time ago that I wanted to have my own business. I never really knew, even before I took the cake to my friend's house, okay. I never knew what I wanted to do. Um, I kind of had a feeling that it would have been something in food. Um, but... I, you know, I, I, I did that and I enjoy it. I like working for myself. Right. Uh, it's hard work, but I, I, I enjoy it. Now, you're the only employee or do you have a staff? Yeah. No, I don't have a staff right now. I'm, I'm working towards that. I am my only employee. I do have help from time to time. My parents mm-hmm. help me a lot, um, you know, with deliveries and, and you know, um, picking up items and things like that that I need. And I have an assistant from time to time that helps me. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, where are you located at? I am located in Homestead, Florida. 
Homestead, Florida. Now, for the people that's all across the country uh, that's viewing this online and, and on different networks, mm -hmm. where is Homestead in South Florida? Homestead is way south in South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I live very far uh, south. This is the southernmost part of Dade County. Okay. So it's about maybe like I say 30 minutes south from the city of Miami, 30, 40 minutes south. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, for my NASCAR fans, just think oh. of Homestead Speedway. Yeah, they know and exactly that's where, where she's where at. Is, yes. uh -huh. Yeah, I live down the street from the Speedway. Really? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's that's good for business. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's good for business. <laughs> now, do you have your own shop or are you still doing it out of the home? Uh, still doing it um, from home. I work, um, I do a lot of sales online. So you can, you can um, see all the items that I make online. You can purchase really? online. Mm -hmm. where, now, where can they go in order to see this online? What's the... Kipsmix.com. Kipsmix.com. Make sure we we'll have it on our Facebook on website, so you'll be able to pick it up there. Mm -hmm. Kips Mix. Now, what made you think of the name Kip Mix? Um, well, like I said before, uh, I was kind of doing it on the side, and I was Kips homemade cakes, and you know, then I developed. Um, I, I had the idea to to sell my mixes as well. I sell cookie dough, and I sell my pie filling. Really? Yes. Now that is interesting. So that means. You have the recipe, people can buy the package mm -hmm. and they just can squirt it out and... Pretty much, that's it. That yeah. is... Yes, I have my own my, my pie filling in the cookie dough. Those are the only mixes that I have, but then I also, you know, can say Kip's Mix because you said my recipes, you know, the baked products that I do. Really? I, um, you know, those are the mixes that I use, so... What, what I, I felt that the name, it kind of incorporated everything. But I kind of like that okay. idea, you know, because that means that they don't have to necessarily come down to Homestead and, um, and pick up uh, some of these delicious pies and oatmeal and um, chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. um, they can actually pick up the mix and they can do it at home. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's already fully prepared so really? you either yeah just scoop out and you know form the dough make the cookies or you can just thaw the uh the frozen pot filling mm -hmm. and you just cut a corner of the bag squeeze in the shell and put it in the oven awesome yeah. awesome well what about the nutritious value into it uh the only thing right now that i that i can like substitute uh is is the sugar i'll occasionally use splenda if someone asks right um but for the most part, they're, they're just regular desserts. So you should enjoy it in moderation. So you have uh, special requests? Sometimes, yeah. And oh, sometimes okay. you can't always feel, you know, feel the, the request because they are um, baked goods and you know, baking is sometimes a little bit of a science. You, know, you can't right. always substitute everything. But I do what I can do. So know, what, can. What, what, how, how large is your clientele? Uh... Right now, I think I'll say I have between, on a continuous basis, I have some people that order from me, um, um, you know, maybe like once a month. I have some people that order from once a year, but they're consistent with ordering right. once a year, and I appreciate that. So I say maybe, at least maybe between 100, maybe 120 people. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Especially, you know, if you, like you said, they, they're constantly uh, um, uh, calling you mm -hmm. and constantly ordering. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. You know, you want that. So what is your favorite item that people like uh the pound cake and the oatmeal cookies i think really yeah now i try the oatmeal cookies they are mm -hmm. delicious mm -hmm. Very uh fancy. i haven't tried the pound cake and i see here that you have sweet but what they, what they call sweetie pies sweetie pies, sweetie pies. and they're little sweet potato pies mm -hmm. and they look delicious they look awesome that i'm, I'm quite sure that you get uh, a lot of people wanting those especially for the office right uh yeah yeah usually when people i introduce them to people they you know they take to it so really? they yeah they like them okay all right now i used to bake myself yeah mm -hmm. i know this is surprising <laughs> i had my own little bakery um uh, it wasn't really professional mm -hmm. uh, and i did the same thing you did it was one christmas i didn't have any money so i baked people chocolate chip cookies and they liked them and I said, well, why don't I do something a little large scale? So I, I formed the name, Keats Confectionery Treats. Mm -hmm. And I had, you know, some signature items. And you and I, and I'm going to tell the people out there, <laughs> we have a little uh, a bet going on. 
Yes. Where I told her that, hey, I make some brownies. She was like, yeah, really? What? Well, what kind of what kind of brownies you make? <laughs> so I make some brownies. So I bought some of my brownies here, which I call my dusty brownies. Um, they dusted with Oreo cookies. Mm, you know, and good. yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. good. It's pretty okay, good. Okay. You know, somebody told me that I shouldn't use dusty and brownies together, but <laughs> hey, you know, Bojangles had dirty rice, so it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So. A little bit later on, we're going to have our staff try them, and we're going to see who likes what. And depending on that, mm -hmm. we had our bet. She said, "If if I am the winner, she will feature my dusty brownies in in her menu uh, mm -hmm. that she has." So that's pretty cool. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about Kips Mix that you want everybody out there to know. Um, I enjoy what I do. And uh, I think for the, for the most part, uh, because of that, I, I make very good products. I, have, I, I enjoy what I do, and uh, everything I do, I do it to perfection. Right, At least, right. Yeah, that's my Now, time. being a woman entrepreneur, mm -hmm. um, I know being an entrepreneur is really rough anyway. Um, what are some of the challenges that you had to face? Time uh, and money. Because uh, I work a full-time job, oh, okay. so uh, sometimes it's a challenge, you know, having to come home after you work a full day to bake right. or try and handle business matters. Uh, you know, that's it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge when you're not working full-time. You know, there's only so many you know, hours in the day right. and so much that you can do. But that that's definitely a challenge. And and money, um, you know, getting finance, mm -hmm. um, finances for your for your business is a challenge too. Wow, so, wow, I can understand mm -hmm. that. I can understand that. Tell me a little bit how you was helped with that when you were starting your business. Uh, I went through a program um, called Partners for Self-Employment, and uh, they help small businesses uh, in Miami-Dade County and in Broward um, with business training and uh, like micro loans for, really? for your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very helpful. So they was able to get you involved and get you started and everything that you need to do. They kind of held your hand a little bit along the way? Uh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit along the way. Like I said, they offer uh, some training. Uh, what I... Uh, participated in was a peer lending oh, okay. uh, program so basically they're groups uh, of individuals that are formed and right. they they charter uh, the group and they uh, basically determine other members uh, eligibility in the group to to, to qualify for, peer for lending. a loan. Okay mm -hmm. we're gonna talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. that when we come back from the break and uh, one thing that's um, interesting is that I wanted to talk about entrepreneurship but I also want to talk about South Florida and how all this ties in because you're down in Homestead mm -hmm. and a lot of times people that's up in Miami up in Fort Lauderdale they don't get a chance to get down there so we want to give them a reason to get down there and I think Kip's mix is a reason to get down there uh, so when we come back from the break I got a young lady that's going to uh, flip you out with her hair so we'll be back in two and two this is the casting couch APAC completes its 2012 season with Amir Baraka's The Dutchman, opening September 5th at the African Heritage Culture Arts Center in Miami, Florida. For showtimes and information, call 305-456-0287 or visit APAC.com. Come see what you've been missing. Lights, camera, action. Are you a high school graduate ready to go to the next level? Do you know that jobs in the film industry pay high salaries and are among the fastest growing professions in the nation? Earn while you learn through hands-on experience and paid internship opportunities. Urban Television School of Communication and Broadcasting is offering a certificate program in film production. For enrollment information, contact Penny Emanuel 305-907-9421 or 786 718-7076. Tree on the Bay, Miami newest waterfront restaurant. Voted as the best outdoor dining by My City Eats. Tree on the Bay serves delectable new American cuisine and is located at 1601 79th Street Causeway, North Bay Village. For reservations, call 305-866-1234 or visit us at the web at treeonthebay.com. Tree on the Bay where you dine, drink, and dance. APAC completes its 2012 season with Amir Baraka's The Dutchman, opening September 5th 
at the African Heritage Culture Arts Center in Miami, Florida. For show times and information, call 305-456-0287 or visit APAC.com. Come see what you've been missing. Lights, camera, action. Are you a high school graduate ready to go to the next level? Do you know that jobs in the film industry pay high salaries and are among the fastest growing professions in the nation? Earn while you learn through hands-on experience and paid internship opportunities. Urban Television School of Communication and Broadcasting is offering a certificate program in film production. For enrollment information, contact Penny Emanuel, 305-907-9421 or 786 786- 718-7076. Tree on the Bay, Miami newest waterfront restaurant, voted as the best outdoor dining by My City Eats. Tree on the Bay serves delectable new American cuisine and is located at 1601 79th Street Causeway, North Bay Village. For reservations, call 305-866-1234 or visit us at the web at treeonthebay.com. Tree on the Bay where you dine, drink, and dance. Welcome back to The Casting Couch. I'm your host, Keith Harrell, and we're here at Trio in North Bay Village. I want to ask you ladies something. This is your boy asking you ladies something. Have you ever seen stars with natural hairstyles and you wish you could look like them? Okay, okay. Well, my guest today shared that same frustration but she did something about it. And we're gonna to talk to her about that. So I want you to give a warm cast and cows welcome to Lashara Bostick of Love Child Essentials. Hey, hey. Right. <laughs> What's up, girl? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I, I I love the entrepreneurial spirit that we have here on the couch. And we're gonna be talking about hairstyles, natural hair. Awesome. First of all, explain to the folks out there what we call natural hair. Well, natural hair is hair that is not chemically processed um, without the, you know, the relaxers or the texturizer. It's just your natural state, your hair in its natural state. In its natural state. Yes. Now, back in the day, we would say, or grandma would say, uh, you need to do something about that kitchen. <laughs> For you folks that don't know what the kitchen is, it's that part on the back of the neck <laughs> that got little beads. But the beady beads. Be the beady beads. But the beady beads are in there. The beady beads are good. Well, you know, it's not, <laughs> not, 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 we're, not, we're not calling it beady beads today. What it's, are we calling it? It's natural hair. It's natural and we're, and hair. we're going to embrace our natural hair and our natural hair texture. I love that spirit. I love that spirit. Now, Love Child Essentials. Where did you get the name Love Child Essentials? Well, that, um, the love child has, has a little more um, history. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an only child. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and growing up in an era like, you know, the late 70s, early 80s, where people were having babies and everyone had siblings and, and it was just me. You know, my parents decided, yeah, this is it. We, we're going to stop here. So, you know, I've, I've always said, you know, I'm, I'm the love child. Like, it, you know, it begins and ends here. Oh, okay. So, you know, and, and I fall in love with almost everything. Like everything that... Um, when I, when I fall in love with it, it's like essential that I have it. So when I started my natural hair journey, it was essential that I found, you know, the right products and, and that I um, enjoyed what I was doing with my hair. So right. that's when I attached the Love Child Essentials and the company was born. Now, when did you break free of the process when you said, I'm not going to process my hair no more. I'm not going to flat iron it. I ain't going to do nothing. How long ago was that? Well, I think I started my natural hair journey back in 2010, but, but I still flat iron my hair occasionally. When I want a straight look, um, I, I still go ahead and I, and I flat iron it, but I just don't put any of the chemicals in it. Now, that's still natural hair. That's Even still if natural you do hair. it, okay. That's it's still, still natural, natural hair. Because right. I can always wash it and go back to my kinky look. And see, Kip is like, yeah, I understand what you're saying, yeah. girl. You see my hair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm wrapping. I'm wrapping. <laughs> exactly. That's awesome, man. So what made you want to start the company? Well, um, I was frustrated with trying to find products. Um, I can always order online. I can always, you know, look for different products in different cities. When I visit Atlanta a lot, I would be able to find products. When I visit D.C., I'm able to go into stores and find products. But there was nothing here in South Florida that we were able to do that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to bring my love for natural hair, my love for natural hair care products right to my people so that we can do wow. the same thing. Right here in SoFlo, huh? Right here. 
We I got love a little bit it. of everything. So yes, we do. <laughs> we got some of everything here. We have Dominican, we have Haitian, we have Cuban, we have American. Everything is here in South Florida, and um, you're embracing it with your hair. I, I, I'm digging that. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I thank love you, thank you. Now, what are we calling this hairstyle here? Well, you know, this I did. This is a, a braid out I did a couple of days ago. So a braid I, out? Yeah, I would braid my hair, put a little bit of product on it, braid it, and um, you take it a loose and, and you kind of just let it go. So, really? being that, you know, um, I've been wearing it for a couple of days, I just decided to pull it up. Okay. Now, I've heard. A lot of women say that they're a little scared because you go through what they say that ugly period. Transition. It's it's called a the transition. It's period. called the transition period. <laughs> I don't nothing, think it's ugly. I, it's ugly know, about you know, natural hair. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> because you you know you focus more on on the face and, and and all the rest of that stuff. And yes, it might be a little change, but it's a little different. It's a little different. But that's that's that period you know where you're you're deciding between. Um, you know, cutting off your relaxed ends and just letting your natural texture, I guess, be the, the hairstyle that you wear or you right. rock. So a lot of women take their time and, and do it slowly. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I wore braids for a while and then when I decided, you know, I'm, that's it. I'm right. taking them out and I'm cutting them off and, and, and that, that was, was it. it. And okay. I went from there. All right. Because you also have some women that are bald. Right. That just say, hey, you know, I'm just going to cut it all off and, and they look great with it yeah you, know, you see some it's stars awesome. and, it, and it's awesome it's awesome uh the t the tweeting that you guys hear that's from our twitter there you go casting couch tv so you can tweet us right now while you're watching the tv and uh we got people that's going to get right back with you so you hear that tweet tweet that's what's <laughs> going on that's what's going on we got a couple of products here uh that you feature with yes. love child essentials and i'm just going to take a look at it right here this one is the sweet cocoa bean curl smoothing cream now what what does that do to your hair well well this product line is, is Darcy's Botanicals we carry this product line along with several other product lines but that one in particular um, it smooths out your curls you know mm -hmm. when your hair is a little frizzy being that we're in here in South Florida you know the humidity sometimes right. make the curls a little frizzy makes your hair frizzy so this product would smooth out your curls and just enhance your curl pattern. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, what's this, the Coma Butter Moisture Whip? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a, a daily hairdress. So it's a, it's a whipped butter. I think it has um, shea butter along with a couple of other different butters in it. And it's whipped together and, and you put it on for moisture. So now tell everybody out here exactly where they can go to your site, where they can purchase uh, these products from different uh, vendors. Well, we are, um, our website is www.lovechildessentials.com, um, and we will be opening a retail location here in South Florida shortly. So for the next couple of weeks, oh, we're going to have a storefront. I like that. So y'all make sure y'all go to my Facebook page. We're going to have all her information, all of Kip's information on there, so you'll know exactly where to go to. When you come to SoFlo and you need to get your hair, get your fro done, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do something here. You know, you'll know exactly where to go. Just go to the casting couch and we have all those things. Um, let me ask you, how difficult was it to start your own business? Well, actually, it, um, it wasn't that difficult for me. I mean, this is something that I was really passionate about. Um, so it came easy. I, I worked really hard um, at making sure I got everything done. And, and, mm -hmm. the, and the process kind of flowed. I've, I've you know, got a lot of support from my friends and family. Wow. So, it wasn't that difficult for me. Awesome, awesome. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you, sir. Thanks thank for you, having uh, me. Thank you, Ms. Bostick, for coming on. Thank you, Kip, for coming on. And when we come back, we'll have some closing remarks. Uh, so just stay with us two and two at the Casting Couch. Tree on the Bay, Miami newest waterfront restaurant, voted as the best outdoor dining by My City Eats. Tree on the Bay serves delectable new American cuisine and is located at 1601 79th Street Causeway, North Bay Village. For reservations, call 305-866-1234 or visit us at the web at treeonthebay.com. Tree on the Bay, where you dine, drink, and dance. APAC completes its 2012 season with Amir Baraka's The Dutchman, opening September 5th at the African Heritage Culture Arts Center in Miami, Florida. For showtimes and information, call 305-456-0287 or visit APAC.com. Come see what you've been missing. 
lights, camera, action. Are you a high school graduate ready to go to the next level? Do you know that jobs in the film industry pay high salaries and are among the fastest growing professions in the nation? Earn while you learn through hands-on experience and paid internship opportunities. Urban Television School of Communication and Broadcasting is offering a certificate program in film production. For enrollment information, contact Penny Emanuel 305-907-9421 or 786-718-7076. Tree on the Bay, Miami newest waterfront restaurant. Voted as the best outdoor dining by My City Eats. Tree on the Bay serves delectable new American cuisine and is located at 1601 79th Street Causeway, North Bay Village. For reservations, call 305-866-1234 or visit us at the web at treeonthebay.com. Tree on the Bay, where you dine, drink, and dance. The entrepreneurial spirit is live and well in SoFlo. As you can see by my guests here, uh, Kip Johnson and Lashara Bostic, they have their own companies. So please support them. Please support them. Please support small businesses. This is what drives America. This is what drives us. It's very important, especially here in SoFlo. Um, just want to give you a couple of quick uh, reminders. If you can go to uh, Facebook.com slash cast and couch tv you can get all of our guest information uh you can get all of uh what we're doing here at the cast and couch and all upcoming events that we have going on so i will hope that you will go there and support us again thank you for viewing the cast and couch there we go go to our twitter account uh again thank you for viewing the cast and couch and godspeed The proceeding was a paid presentation for The Casting Couch, brought to you by APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater.